Let's talk about the type of inheritance known as epistasis. This type of non-Mendelian genetics is going to be an interaction between two genes. In this interaction, one gene is going to have a controlling effect on the other gene. So basically, one gene is going to control another gene, and this interaction is going to determine the phenotype. I love this illustration of the person controlling the dog. In this analogy, gene A is controlling gene B. Let's give you an example with dogs. Hair color in labs is a perfect example of epistasis, where you have two genes that are going to interact with each other. This first gene is the pigment gene or the melanin control gene. As long as there's one dominant letter in the first genotype, that gene is going to be activated. However, if there's two recessive letters in the genotype, that gene is going to be deactivated. The quantity of pigment is the second gene. The capital letter here creates black fur, and the lowercase letter here produces brown fur. As you can see, in this first genotype, as long as there's one capital letter, the second genotype will produce its color. So big B, big B, and big B, little b will create a black lab, and a little b, little b will produce the brown lab. However, if we have a homozygous recessive genotype in the first gene, it doesn't matter what the second genotype's gonna be. You're going to produce a yellow lab. That's because this first gene controls the second gene. If this first gene is turned off or is homozygous recessive, it doesn't matter what that second gene type is gonna be, you're gonna produce a yellow lab.